In this case, we have a revenue problem. We're trying to maximize our revenue. And so a few things we should stop and reflect about real quick. Um, we did some uh, problems that were projectiles. And so we were given the formulas for those ones. And then we had some fencing and maximization kind of problems. And so for that one, we had to remember that area equals length times width. And so the main formula that you should have solid in your head when you're dealing with revenue problems is revenue is equal to price times quantity. And that's kind of replacing your area equals length times width. And so we're ready to, to work from there. And so let's plug in what we know about this particular problem. So what they're saying is, currently, so we can say R now, is that they're, solve, they're selling them, the price is $20. So we can just replace the P with 20, and they're selling 3000 So there they go. They've got a, got a bit of a, a good gig going on there, and so we can work that out, what, 60 and 60000 and so they're stopping and they're saying, yeah, this is working good, but could we do better? So let's just consider um, our price. Uh, is $20 the best price that we could be asking for these bouquets? Um, let's do a little bit of analysis. So they start asking people, whether it be a survey or what have you, and they say, let's consider our revenue and we'll put an X there as a variable, but what, what are the possibilities for our revenue here? And so what we could say is that we started with 20, but if we increase the price by $1 for every time we had a price increase, so we'll just say X equals the number of increases, and it is make, worth making a note. It's surprising how often you end up uh, solving for X and then getting a little confused at that point. In other words, doing three quarters of the work and then answering it incorrectly because you lost track of what things stood for. So uh, it, it is good to keep track of things. Um, and so that's the price in there. And then the quantity, well, again, we say we started with 3,000, but they would sell 100 less. So we would lose 100 for every one of those increases. So basically, if they see an increase in the price, they see a decrease in the number of thing, items sold, in this case, bouquets. Uh, in the same way, if we saw a decrease in price, in other words, the X was a negative, then we would see an increase in the number of, sold, of them sold. So uh, we have a little bit of a symmetry going on here, but we do have an equation that we can go plug into Desmos. And once again, uh, going to Desmos means that to show your work, you should be laying out what you see in Desmos. Just a rough sketch. Okay, so it looks something like that. And so what we can do is we can say on the X axis, we can say, is our X, it's the number of increases. Now it's not the, necessarily the number of dollars of increase, it's the number of increases. In this particular case, it's only increasing by a dollar, so they equate, but we, we, I want to point that out because it's not always the case that way. Um, and then we have the revenue as our changing revenue and we're kind of analyzing what would happen. Now, if there were no changes to it, then that means that we're right back where we started. So that means that this right here represents our R now, right? And so if we start seeing increases in X, we see the price or the overall revenue go up a little bit. So it does tell us that there's some room for increasing our uh, price of the bouquets and still ending up with more revenue, if that's what we choose to do. Um, and so we do recognize that there is a maximum point. 
that if we go beyond that and keep increasing the price, we're going to start losing revenue because we start losing more people than the price would profit us. So, um, so yeah, that vertex is a good thing to know here. Okay, so we can say that's our, our max. Okay, so now we've shown on our graph a few of the items that are of particular interest to us. Uh, the vertex is, vertex is uh, our, our max, we could say, and that is, we can take it from the graph and we find that that happens at 5 and 62,500. So, according to their research, uh, they could manipulate the price of the bouquets and end up with an additional $2,500 worth of revenue. And so um, there we go. And so let's go back and look what price would maximize it. Okay, so we said that the X means that there's five increases. So 5X and each increase was $1. So that means a $5 increase. Now, don't go writing $5 down there. Let's stop and look at this. That's a $5 increase. So we started off at $25. And so our new price, so price that creates this maximum would be 20 plus our increase or $25. So as you can see, uh, showing your work should look a lot like this. A quick sketch from what you saw from Desmos and then just a layout of your rationale as you went along. With questions like these, these revenue ones, they can be a little bit tricky, but it's mostly about staying organized. So um, recognizing that, uh, you know, what's on your x-axis, what's on your y-axis. When you say x, what exactly is that? So when I end up coming up with an x at my vertex, I can interpret it correctly. And I don't end up writing down there is a $5 increase or a $5 is, is the price and, and end up with a totally wrong answer, even though you put in all of the work. So... Bottom line, uh, stay organized, show your rationale as you go.